Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase. Today I'm going to show you just one way you can use side chaining. Side chaining is an important tool in any mixer's arsenal. This is just a way you might use it if you were using Cubase maybe to record a podcast or something and you had music playing in the background and you wanted the music to duck every time someone spoke up. So let's jump into Cubase and I'll just show you this real quick tip. So the principle behind side chaining is the input from one track will control a parameter on another track. For instance, I have this track I've recorded and it's just a little acoustic ditty. Now with the music playing behind my voice, the music may get a little too loud when all the instruments come in. What I would want is for my voice to control a compressor that tamps down this track every time I'm speaking. And we can do that with side chaining. So if we think about it, what do we want to compress? We want to compress the music. So that's where we'll put the insert and we'll just use Cubase's bog standard compressor. Um, now that we have it loaded into our track, I think we want a relatively high ratio and we want to dial this back to, I don't know, 35, negative 40 dB or something. Now it's just compressing the track itself. You can see the gain reduction, but that's just, this input signal is the track. Um, also, because I want this to duck under my voice, I want to take off auto makeup and um, I do want to increase the release because I just want it to gradually uncompress after I'm done speaking. Now, this is still just compressing. The input from the music is compressing the music itself. If I wanted to compress this voice over channel right here, talk back, what I would have to do is set up a side chain. And with VST uh, plugins, especially the ones that are included with Cubase, this is extraordinarily easy. We hit this button right here. It says activate, deactivate side chaining. And then we set up side chain with the little gear next to it. Now we want to add a side chain source. These are all of my tracks in this template. Now what I want to use as my source is talkback. Once talkback is added, every time I talk, that will affect the compressor. So let's watch the gain reduction as I play the music and wait for myself to talk. Here we go. But when I talk, the music will duck under my voice because I have the compressor set. Now I want this release to be as long as possible and maybe just do a little peak analysis. And as you can see, after I'm done talking, the music gradually rises to its original level. But every time I start to make noise, the music gets turned down. This is just one way you can use side chaining. There's a million ways creatively to use side chaining. This is just one that works. And if you wanna have music as a background track, especially if you're doing something live, like I'm recording this video live, I mean, I'm recording it to my hard drive, but we're doing all this stuff in real time. It's nice to be able to have a setup like this where you can side chain a compressor to a musical track and the music turns down every time you're talking. Every time you stop talking, well, the music goes up. So this has just been a very quick tip in Cubase about side chaining. See you next time. <laughs>